Genshin. It's already past. It's already one minute past. Uh, eight, 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 um, eight o'clock, and you um, you're supposed to be live like now. Oh, please do not tell me I have to refresh this. Sh please. Please do not tell me I have to refresh this. Sh Fine, I'll refresh it, damn it. Ah, I'm and I missed it. Brilliant. Okay, now let me let me wear my earphones. I should refresh it at, at exactly 8 um 8 pm. Sheesh! Damn it, Twitch! This is why I didn't didn't want to react react on uh on the Twitch uh channel. No one can tell me what to do. Anyhow, first game play look of um Chiori. Dual wheel. He told you. And that's her and elemental burst. Oh now I see it as well. Neat. Hold on, let me be right. Play my headphones. I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? I might have to rewatch this uh, um, again. I might have to rewatch the trailer again because. Damn it, get, damn it, Twitch! Like, what the hell? I have to like refresh. Then only the stream, the, the stream is running. One of this is one of the very few reasons I would rather watch the the, the special program on YouTube instead of Twitch. At least YouTube will give me a heads up. Twitch on your hand, on your hand. Nope. We, let, let's just jump right into the special program without any any countdown and stuff. Like what the hell? Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Unsurprisingly, our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Oh, why was it in the box? Whoa, it's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. She probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. You could get a really good read on her based oh, on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive, like the. Kind Another of reason I I'm, I I I rather watch it on YouTube. The impression that she's not afraid of going after. Freaking ads. Yeah. It must have taken a lot of effort for an Inazuman to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion industry. Yes. Mm. I bet her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm-hmm. You know it. You all seem pretty familiar with Chiori already, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities. So, let's take a moment to appreciate her fighting style. Let's. Fighting. <laughs> It's up to me to decide who I want to be, and to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. Oh, please do not tell me this is... Uh, the, the S is going to be dead throughout the entire time. I'm oh, thank goodness. Oh my god, she's so cool! <laughs> like, have you seen her doll? It's so cute! You could say that she's a cut above the rest, Aww. if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love her animations. They're so sleek. Yes. Yeah, super stylish. Major style points. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love her swords. They're super, super cool. I want to add them to my own collection. Did you see that during her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. Good catch. Yeah. <laughs> Observers often consider Giori to be an unconventional designer. She has a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside from using her own blades to cut fabric, she also uses an automaton named Tamoto. Her longtime personal assistant is always ready to help produce and model her designs. Okay. Tamoto is indispensable to how Chiori expresses her unique creative vision to the world. It's like she has an aura that proclaims to everyone, this 
is fashion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Chiori's found an ingenious way to incorporate her design-making assistance into combat, too. During her elemental skill, Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. She also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stats. Mm. Wait, wait. Chiori made that automaton herself? Oh, it's so intricate. Eh? Maybe she could expand into a new industry if she wanted. <laughs> oh, for sure. When her elemental skill is held, Chiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack enemies from multiple angles. She's and practically the, businesswoman, the female Chiori Geo version of Kachin. Unfavorable conditions. Chiori will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto is active, and there are other Geo constructs on the field. Huh. Okay. By unlocking one of her specific talents, Chiori can trigger special effects when using her skill or normal attack during the upward strike on her elemental skill. Oh, interesting. So it seems like you can even switch that, your active character by using that her move. Skill. She's literally yeah. um. Her little assistant to save her a lot of trouble. The Geo oh, element Kachin. Chiori doesn't like to waste her time on um trivial matters. If someone tests her patience, then she'll end the battle with a strike as sharp and fierce as her personality. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> she already may be a professional designer, but she's also really fun to watch in combat. For sure. Chiori doesn't think that fashion stops at appearances. It also needs to serve a functional purpose. Hmm. When Chiori is in your active party and any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider, the whole team will have their movement speed increased. Oh. That's what makes her a true designer. Interesting. She'll definitely be smoother when she's in the party and more fashionable. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh? Chiori tends to run into a lot of trouble. Oh. It might be because of her blunt personality, but uh. unexpected problems often arise, no matter how much she tries to avoid them. Mm. I'm sure that a straightforward person like Chiori has her own methods of getting herself out of those situations quickly. <laughs> it's possible. Chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision. She isn't afraid to go after what she wants, and that approach has made her very successful. Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chiori brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. So she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure such as participating in Fontaine Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh, I bet she probably has to go all out on Fashion Week. Chiori's story quest, the Sisoria chapter, of course. will become available in version 4.5. Travelers. Whenever there's new characters, there's definitely a um, character story quest. Challenges during Fontaine Typical Fashion Genshin. Week. How curious. What kind of challenges are they? Shh, we'll have to wait and see. But I'm sure that Kirara will be there to help Chiori, being her good friend and all. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of interactions they'll have. <laughs> I should mention that Chiori also designed Kirara's outfit. Oh, oh. so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. Actually, travelers won't just be wait, spending time what? with Chiori. Lynette's hangout event will also be available in version 4.5. After travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special reward. Okay. The Phantometer. Awesome. Oh, this is a pretty interesting tool. You can draw a random number from a hat when you interact with the Phaetometer. So if travelers are ever stuck on a decision, they can use the Phaetometer as an interesting solution. Hmm. Yeah, if you're farming for artifacts or enhancement materials in co-op mode, you might run into a situation where multiple people want to use the same character. Mm. But you can decide a winner by drawing a random number with the Phaetometer. It seems pretty convenient, right? <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Especially if you're as easily overwhelmed and indecisive as I am. <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore, then you can even use the Phaetometer to decide where you should start. It could save you from going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. How about we try the Phaetometer and see which number it gives us? Oh, me first! Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Have we decided what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, how about this then? Whoever draws the largest number gets to introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. I already got to introduce Chiori. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, I'll go. Oh. Ooh. That's rough. Yikes. Number oh, one. Doro. Um, oh. So close. Which means Ita will be introducing <sighs> well, the next. Well, it seems people. like Zack is the winner. Take it away, big man. Let's go. Uh. 
We'll have event oh. wishes from Chiori event and Ito in the first half. Chiori and Ito in the first half. Okay. A new five-star sword, Uraku Misugiri, will be featured on the weapon event banner. Mm-hmm. Here's a small spoiler for you. Oh? The new five-star sword. That's practically the Geo <gasps> Miss Splitter. Oh, so it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. That's practically the Geo oh, version of Miss Splitter. Something that they will have to try out for themselves. Nervalette and Kazuha will also rerun in the second half of version 4. Motherf! Be sure to check them out if either of them interests you. Oh, and that's not all. Okay. It looks like we also have information. I'm aiming for Nubilet then. Type of wish. The Chronicled Wish. Chronicle Wish? What's that? Yeah. What is this? Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from version 4.5. Okay. The Chronicled Wish. The Chronicled Wish banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. They'll also be able to obtain. Eula, Albedo, and Klee are limited. Path and Wolf's Gravestone. Whoa. No way. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Super cool. Oh, Beacon Wait, of the Racy. So many characters that's and the, weapons um, are going to be on the same banner. Won't it be kind of hard to pull for exactly who you uh, want? What that's, you want? uh... That's, uh... Nope. You can start weapon. a specific course for the character or weapon that you want. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, whatever you end up pulling is guaranteed to be what? a character. Oh, the huh. same is true for weapon pulls. Okay. That's neat. Seems like a great opportunity for travelers to make up for missing out on certain characters and weapons that they wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one thing that I have to clarify. Oh. These new banners will only feature five-star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Okay. More details about the Chronicled Wish banners will be revealed in an official announcement. Be okay. Sure keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Also, interesting. 4.5 will introduce a training guide system to make it Very easier interesting. for new travelers to explore to vet. We'll provide oh. more details later on in the program. The training okay. guide system. Wait. We've just finished the event wish section of the program. Let's take a short break while we display the second redemption code. Awesome. Eh. Sounds like a plan. Ooh. Oh. Jean and Lisa. Okay. Oh, Alright, so I did not expect the... the... We'll be getting a new form of wish. Very interesting. But based on the new five star character, based on the five star characters available at the new World Chronicle Wish, so far there's a uh, freaking ad. Anyway, back to the topic. So far there's Eula. Um, I there's Mona, Albedo, Klee, Jean, and Diluc. And here's the fun part: three of them. Mona, Dilu, Jean are non limited. While the other three, which are Eula, Klee, and Albedo, they are non limited. And here's another in interesting part all six characters are from Monstat. Welcome back to the version 4.5 special program. Let's move on so, to the next bit of content. So, maybe the next batch will be yeah. Liyue characters. Hmm. Judging from we'll the see. shape of the glass we'll and the color of the liquid, I'm guessing that the bottle has And to be fair, to I, alchemy. next time I'm watching and the special program on YouTube. I ain't gonna watch it on Twitch. Bingo. Because mm -hmm. screw X! Next, we're introducing an event that takes place <gasps> oh. in Mondstadt. It's an alchemy event. Yay! As the city of Mondstadt alchemy continues event. to develop, its leaders are busy. Of course, it's, um, it has something to the do with Mondstadt. have always been conducting alchemy research. And they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion shop. Oh, People of Mondstadt okay. can learn more about alchemy, and the knights can better understand their needs. Everybody wins. Hey, that sounds wow. super exciting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially definitely gonna take this event out to run for the sure. Shop during this event. Oh, and what'll that look like? In the alchemical ascension event, travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to increase the shop's revenue and expand their business. So it's a management sim. Ooh, I love that. Management <laughs> yeah, exactly. sim. Right. Travelers who build up the revenue and run the shop smoothly will be able to earn various rewards. Nice. These include Prima Gems and a four-star polearm. Dialogues of Desert Sages. Nice. Oh. 
Travelers can also look forward oh, to meeting for the over here as well. Shop. Along with Eula. Scale business even faster if they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Oh, I won't be surprised if Fontanian characters uh, will be in this um, event. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's all I have to announce about this event. What's the next bit of news? All right, what's next? Yeah. Next I event. I feel like we don't even need to introduce this one. Everyone can understand that our upcoming content is about cats. <sighs> okay. It's like I've returned home. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's already gotten into character. Hey, wait, wait a second. Sucrose also has animal ears, right? Hmm. Well, she doesn't have a tail, though. Oh, so Sucrose isn't part cat? No comment. Wait, really? <laughs> really? <She's> not? <laughs> Ahem. We've completely gone off topic. Let's get back to introducing the most important event, the Feline Fortress Ferdisi. Okay. The Traveler and Paimon have encountered all sorts of strange creatures during their journey through Tavat, but this time... They've decided to take some time to visit the familiar cat's tail. Ah, that makes sense. Since they've been on the road for so long, there's no better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with some cuddly cats. Mm -hmm. Cat lovers of Tevat, unite! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> to so be true. precise, this event doesn't actually take place at the cat's tail. Oh. A kind-hearted person recently prepared a new space for the cats to play to their heart's content. Travelers okay. simply need to set up fluffy feline homes for the cats, satisfy specific target requirements, and provide the cats with their favorite food. I see what she did Only there. then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the Throne of Meower. Uh, yeah. Playing with cats can be a little tricky. They'll oh. get angry if you do something that makes them uncomfortable. Just do your best. <laughs> Once travelers yeah. have become good friends with all of the cats, they'll be able to meet a special friend. Yep. And it seems like you're already a very good friend to the cats. Hey, you know all this cat talk reminds me of hmm? card games. <laughs> In Tibet, they're pretty closely associated, right? We have Nuvile, Charlotte, and Kirara, and the and, uh, and, and, and new elite boss. Play with all those cats. Play with the cats. Play some cards. Play with the cats. Play some cards. Suddenly, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> Ugh, you might be in trouble then. Version 4.5 is adding even more new cards, events, and challenges to Genius Invocation TCG for all travelers. Aside from playing with cats and engaging with the cross games, fire. the developers also prepared some challenges that will give travelers the opportunity to show up their skills. Ooh. In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Whoa. Wow. Ooh. Sure seems like there are a lot of geniuses in Fontaine. I wonder if that place has so many cool inventions. This genius inventor will lend the traveler a remote cannon that he invented to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down slimes. Oh, <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> Reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. So, in this event, travelers will remotely operate a turret to fire elemental shells at an endless horde of slimes. <laughs> Try to defeat be fun. as slimes as you can by triggering elemental reactions. The more points you earn, the more rewards that you can obtain. Ooh. And I noticed that uh, different balls have different elements. Right now it's it's white, even more and then now and now it's Sweet. it's orange. Okay, purple means lightning. A mysterious concoction. Purple means lightning. Phase potion. Oh, Guys, this should be interesting. That's something that Jami developed, right? If I remember correctly, he's a researcher from the Amorta Darshan. Didn't the traveler participate in a bunch of experiments to help him with his thesis? Yep. Oh. He's made some improvements since then, and he's waiting for someone to test them out. <laughs> in previous challenges, you had to wait for the potion to take effect. This time, travelers will automatically enter time dilation mode when you enter the challenge arena. Oh. You can even take pictures when this mode is active. Neat. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Time will resume when you move or use any type of skill. You'll enter time dilation mode again once you stop moving or using your skills. Mm-hmm. Yep. Stop all action after stop using. As long as you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be able to take tons of cool pictures of their characters. Yeah, absolutely. Travelers will also need to focus on accumulating phase force during combat. Once you have okay. enough of it, you'll be given an advantage that will help you complete the challenge. 
Awesome. I kind of want to take what you saw. Overflow vent will be returning in version 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, we finished introducing all the events in version 4.5. System and optimization. Next up we have. Well, wait a second. We've oh. just announced a lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's take a short break and look at the last redemption code before we continue. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we'll see everyone on the flip side. See ya. See ya. Bye bye. I believe the last um, topic they're gonna, they are going to cover is the system optimization, and they will wrap up the, this. Uh, they will wrap up this special program, but I'm going. I will be checking. I will be watching the trailer again in English version and Japanese version because I I missed out the uh, I missed out some parts of the of the trailer because. I don't know if it's Twitch problem or Genshin Impact official page problem. I'm not so sure because I've waited at exactly um, 8 o'clock and yet the page is not refreshing by itself. So I had to manually refresh it. And then next thing you know, the the the, the, the special program is already uh, on way. I was like, what the freak? And not to mention, right, there were there were two advertisements that happened earlier on. And I was like, ah. Oh. Welcome back. In addition to the new events in version 4.5, that killed my experience. Also planned a few system optimizations. Let's take yeah, a look. Yeah, expected system yeah. optimization. After version 4.5, travelers will be able to view a character. This was mentioned during the developers' discussion. Hopefully, this helps everyone understand what materials they need in order to improve. Yeah, this is much more easier. Remember the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? Yes. That's also a new feature that's coming to version 4.5. Yeah. Travelers who are adventure rank 12 or higher and have completed the quest, Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild, will be able to refer to this guide by accessing the Paimon menu or mm -hmm. pause menu. This guide will provide enhancement goals and suggestions based on the levels, weapons, artifacts, and talents of your characters. Very interesting it also takes uh, feature. Your maximum world level into account. Hopefully, this guide will be helpful to travelers who've just started their journey. Very to interesting guide. Yep, this guide was designed as a helpful resource for travelers who are relatively new to Tavat. There's so yep. much to discover in Genshin Impact. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Exploring all those possibilities is part of the fun. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so far, we've just been covering the in-game content. But we also have some external news to share. Okay. In version 4.5. Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Discovery Channel. I am still upset that we still that have awareness we about still have not um, get some Genshin of the Genshin alternate outfits for certain characters and more ads. And they'll be embarking on a journey with all the travelers out there. Wow. That's so that is such a cool collaboration. That is incredible. I love it. <laughs> During version 4.5, travelers can also look forward to the release of the Chen Yu Veil OST album, mm -hmm. Jadeite Redolence. The album will be comprised of two discs, which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo Mix team. It will contain music from version 4.4. Mm -hmm. It even includes the music featured in the Lantern Rite Festival and Shen Yun's Story Quest. <laughs> okay. Yes. No, I can't wait! <laughs> Alright. Seems like we've delivered all of the information. Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? Oh, that was too right. damn fast. So fast. Exactly. It really did. Okay, but is anyone else super excited for the cat cafe? Yes. 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 <laughs> cat Obviously. Cafe. Like immediately. Cats. 100%. 110%. I'm also really excited for everyone to meet Chiori. Woo! I mean, yes! like, they met her, yes, but absolutely. I want them to, like, meet her. Like, get to know her. Yes. See yes. her cool sword scissor attack. So cool. Yes. Right. I mean, I'm a little biased, but you know. I mean, and I think that's fair. Fair, yes, <laughs> very biased. fair. Thank you, thank you. I will probably end up spending a lot of time on the Rolling Crossfire event too. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. yes, I will destroy those slimes. Destroy the slimes. I will. Can I just roll with it then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Bye, everyone. So good. <laughs> really? Well, that, oh, well, that escalated yeah. quickly. Bye. Game. And that's the end of uh, Genshin Impact Special Program version 4.5, which, to be real, that was fast. 
that was only about 25 minutes and to top it off right I, and here's another thing that i want to talk about to be real right from here and out it's gonna be a rough time for genshin impact because from this month onward until um, august of this year which where i believe that's when they will celebrate their anniversary it's gonna be a quiet month um it might be a quiet month or maybe a rough month for genshin because it's most like it's, it's practically filler arc for uh, genshin so i'm just i'm curious how uh, how are they gonna fill up uh, how are they gonna fill up the gap between uh, at in 4.6 4.7 and 4.8 4.8 is very is very likely will, will take place at the something like uh, an alternate universe, just like the the Golden Apple Archipelago, and then the 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 one in three point and what was the, I forgot the name of the the other alternate universe in three point eight, which believe it or not I kind of missed it because because I was busy AF at the moment of time and yeah it's twenty five minutes only what the shit. I I'm I I'm, I kid you not, man. I I am not I'm not kidding you. I'm opening the, the the I'm opening the the official YouTube channel right now. As you can see right over here, right? The special program for version 4.5 is only 25 minutes. This is probably the shortest special program ever to date. They uh, they don't really, okay. Let's just um, get, go through with what what's going on with the this. Uh, with the events, uh, the new characters, yada yada yada, and then um, we will be done with it. I was like, that was really underwhelming to be fair. Mediocre at best. Mediocre at best. There's another thing that I want, I want, I want to go through. The first half of um, the event, which in version 4.5 will be Chiori and Arataki Ito, while the second half of uh, the event, if wish, will be Nuvilet and Kazuha. And here's the thing, both Nuvilet and Kazuha are top tier characters. Kazuha and uh, C0 is completely fine. And I believe the same goes for Nuvilet as well. So, this is cruel to, um, to face uh, the banner in phase 1. Because Chiyoi is a, a brand new character, Ito, the ladies might go for him because he, despite the fact that he is a dumbass of, of an Oni, aka Baka Oni, there are people who genuinely like him. I kid you not, I've seen people out there that, that really like Ito. He may not be the uh, top tier character but there are people who really like him. So. To be fair, this is this is kind of unfair to the the the, the Chiyori and Ito man because you put in two of the the best slash top tier characters in the second half of the event, which like this is this is unfair, man. And as a matter of fact, right, I kind of wanna pull for Chiyori. Just because of the fact that she is voiced by uh, where where is it where is it? Just because of the fact that her Japanese voice by um, Taketatsu Ayana, who happens to be the voice actress for um, Sugaha, aka aka Lifa from Short Art Online, Nino, and she's Nino from um, Gotobu no Hana Yome. She voices a lot of other characters as well, but that these are so far these are the only two that I could think of. I kind of want to pull for Chiyori, just because of the fact that she's voiced by Taketatsu Ayana. But unfortunately, due to the fact that where the hell is that that freaking due to the fact that New Relate is in the second half of uh, the event banner, I'm sorry Chiyori, but I I I have to skip you. I have to, and. May I remind you, I'm I'm technically F2P because ever since the Game Awards, or should I say, ever since like, um, which I believe it's around um, Genshin version four point, around four point one or four point two around that time frame, I kind of stopped throwing money because Honga has been doing more great stuff compared to Genshin. 
And not to mention Genshin, on the other hand, has been underwhelming ever since the Lantern Rite Festival. So, uh, and no, uh, not, not, not just the Lantern Rite Festival, they have been underwhelming ever since the Game Awards. They have been slowly going downhill ever since the Game Awards, and they just got worse ever since the Lantern Rite Festival. So, from here on out, right, I'll... I will have very low expectation on Genshin ever since the Delanta Ride Festival. And I'm not gonna bother throwing a single cent on Genshin from here, here, on, here on out. But then again, I already stopped throwing money on Genshin ever since the Lantern Ride Festival because of the uh, because of the the Lantern Ride drama. I'm not gonna talk about it. You guys go Google Google it or something. <laughs> but long story short. Genshin don't deserve my money. They don't. Honkai, on the other hand, they do. They do deserve my money. And I expect them to do... They're they they're, they're definitely going to do some great stuff um, in the special program for version 2.1. And I'm definitely pulling for Akron without a shadow without. So we'll leave that conversation once um, Honkai special... Uh, Honkai Savils special program for version 2.1 drops which is most, less, most likely around something around middle of march either the second week of march or the third week of march i believe it's, it's probably around 15 16 around that time frame we'll see we'll see as for genshin no i'm pulling f i'm gonna pull for novelette i'm gonna pull gonna pull for novelette without shadow doubt i already have Kazuha anyway and Kazuha is completely fine at C0 so I'm pulling for Nuvulet because I definitely because Nuvulet is a must have for every single new F2P characters and he is one of the best Hydro DPS of all time as of version 4.5 I'm sorry to tell you you're good but unfortunately Nuvulet is way better just saying oh there's another thing that I want to talk about um, I believe it's, it's right over here this Chronicle Wish now of it, um, the event wish, which is the Chronicle Wish. So what I'm really hoping is that they use the the, the blue fates instead of the red of the intertwined ones. If this banner requires the use of the intertwined face, which is the rainbow version of the of the of the resources. People are gonna go a shit, and as a matter of fact, and as a matter of fact, right, players in general they don't really bother spending the the, the blue fates. So I really hope that the the resources to be used on this chronicle wish is the blue ones instead of the instead of the rainbow ones. So we'll see how things was because th this is just a preview we'll just see what uh, what is the official um, announcement which is most likely will have they will announce it on twitter so we'll see how things goes as for the events i uh, i'm def i will definitely will be checking out the alchemical ascension um this is definitely their their flagship um event for this for this version, I'm kind of disappointed that it is not the, the Wind Bloom event. It's, instead, we, we got a something like an let's do a, an alchemy related event, which kind of reminds me of uh, Metalia Ryza. Again, I will definitely be checking out this um, event, but to be fair, this event is kind of underwhelming to be fair. On. I was kind of expecting a Wind Bloom festival because. It is that time of the year where they where we'll be getting a Wind Bloom festival. But unfortunately no. We are not we're not getting something like that. So to be real, it's kinda underwhelming. But then again, to be fair, this entire special program overall is kinda it's kinda mediocre to be very honest. So Yeah, I I'm I, I kinda I'm kinda disappointed to be to be real and not to mention right this entire special program because normally Genshin's program 
Yes, session program takes like about 30 minutes at the the the, 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 the shortest. But this one takes like, like what, 25 freaking minutes. It's underwhelming man, to be very honest. And it's kind of unfair because I didn't feel like they're really trying their best to to hype up Shirovi. They uh, Genshin is just is practically like okay, we just we'll just um introduce the okay, so here's the new character. We'll um here's how her, her, uh, her uh, here's a preview of how her uh, gameplay is, and then we're done. And that's pretty much it. There's 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 literally no hype. We I don't feel hype about her, and not to mention right. I'll be real. She's practically the um, the geo version of Kachin, and that's pretty much it. People want something new. People want new gameplay, but Genshin is literally recycling some of the the, the mech, some of the the characters' mechanics, and then implement them onto a new character. Like that's kind of that's kind of underwhelming to be very honest. I mean, even her elemental skill to top it off. Right, let, let me just this woman right over here. Right, she's literally Kachin. She's literally Kachin, and the only difference is uh, the only difference is that and um, she once she uses her elemental skill, she will summon the automaton doll Tamoto and attack together, dealing damage to opponent based on her attack and defense, and that's pretty much it. Which is kind of, to, to be to be real, it's kind of underwhelming. This special program in general is is very underwhelming and as a matter of fact right, i don't i won't be expecting um, i i will have very low expectations from genshin from here on out because it's gonna be a a slow quiet month until their their anniversary which should happen sometime around august and september 